This is Studio X News, and I'm coming to you with a broadcast that, yes, I do need you to research because I'm doing the same thing. But this has been verified through quite a few people who have been doing news, doing underground reports, getting things out in the open for a very long time. I'm going to cite Mike Adams, Steve Quayle, Dave Hodges, do your research and make sure you have a VPN so you're not being blocked out of these sites and saying, Amber, I don't see it. Get your VPN so you can see all the news out there so you're not blocked. Our internet, our news is being censored. Get your VPN. Um, this is actually very disturbing. Updates on... Um, our situation here on our old terra firma in the United States of America. Trump, fir first order of business, the Trump Marine Corps and the coup and harm against Trump. Yes, it is true. There is more sites out now than when I reported it at first that are verifying along with Paul Bagley, which he's very smart in the news, just stupid and religious. Um, I'm sorry, he's unlearned. Um, anyways, yes, the Marines have been activated. Martial law is very, very, very close to being activated at this point. This is critical. I need you guys to think about something. When you guys leave the house in the morning, you send your kids to school, you guys better have a way to communicate other than cell phones. Because when martial law is initiated, cell phones get wiped out. You cannot use cell phones, okay? This is to help prevent people from communicating to do, coup, you know, civil war, okay? You need to have a location spot that you will meet when things get hot, when martial law, if martial law is instituted, have a meeting place that when cell phones go down, your family knows where to go. Your children in the school, they might lock down the schools. That's why I homeschool my kid. I don't have to worry about that. But you need to think about it if you do send your kids to school. It's very, very important. Okay, during martial law, President Trump will remain the president for the duration of of martial law, which could go past 2020 elections and on into spring. Huh, isn't that interesting? All right. This is getting serious, folks. I'm going to explain a little bit more of what's going on. The White House. I reported yesterday that the Marines might have taken uh, Trump to an undisclosed location. As of right now, the White House is on lockdown. People need to be very, very concerned. Okay, there's a lot of people going ape shit about this right now. If you haven't been looking and searching, then you're in the dark. And that's not a good place to be right now. This is serious. The White House is on lockdown against our own government, against our own country. Trump is on lockdown. There has been, I posted videos about UN being cited. I get a lot of comments. Oh, well, where are they? Where's the picture? Do your homework yourself. I spend hours and hours of day getting this information, verifying it the best that I can. I'm not going to do the work for you, okay? I'm going to put some, some articles in there, okay, so you guys can see, and I'm going to tell you my sources so you can go check them out too, but I got a couple comments there. You know, you're wanting me to just lay it. I, this is why I do the videos. I'm laying it out for you. Go search it. Go do your homework. Okay. I'll help as much as I can. I'm not saying that. But I was just referring to one comment that I got. Um, I've posted some videos on the UN being cited. People have pictures, videos. Um, they were told to stand down which means they were in their locations. They were at the FEMA camps. They have gotten an urgent message, flash message, just went out to all UN troops on U.S. soil. 
changing their status as a stand down waiting to full alert, ready to move, mobilization. This is getting serious. They are now told mobilization, high alert, full alert, not high alert, full alert, mobilization. Given any moment, be ready to mobilize. Another alert. Other parts of our military have been put on high alert to follow all actions giving, given. The military will be divided. Parts of it, Marines, possibly Air Force, are going to be on Trump's side. And some others are not going to be on Trump's side. Okay? Be prepared for the military to be divided. Bank closings are a possibility. If you've got gold, silver, or if you can, get it right now. I would say silver. Forget the gold. Get food. Stock your homes. Get what you need. This is important. Don't just be like, oh, she's just giving fluff. Okay, look what happened to people before when the Jews were given warning. That they were going to be thrown in concentration camps or killed. And they joked, oh, that's not going to happen. I'd rather be the one that has the food in my home and stocked and ready for anything. And to say, well, glad that didn't happen. Other than crap, I should have listened. Because I'm so stubborn and I think nothing's going on. And I'm blinded by our non-news because they don't tell us anything. It's better to be prepared for the worst than not to be prepared at all. This is this is serious stuff. Okay? Listen to people. Stock your homes now. Get ready. The feds at this moment are trying to avoid a financial collapse and I don't think it's going to work this time. Get ready. Get your family ready. Make sure you can communicate with your with your children, your loved ones, in case this goes down while your kids are at school and you're at work. Prepare now. Now is the time. I'm going to keep you updated throughout the day. I'm going to go researching some more. If you didn't hear it when I started the video, sources, check. One, Mike Adams. Two, Steve Quayle. Three, Q alerts. Check all the things, okay? Because they're all saying the same stuff. And then watch around you. Keep on high alert yourself. Get prepared now. This is Studio X News. This is Amber. I wish I didn't have to come to you telling you these things. Times are getting to that point, folks. You know what I'm going to say? I'm out.